In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add an image to a 3D object in Blender. We're going to be creating a basic cube and adding our own photographic image to apply it as a texture to the cube. Let's get started. Okay, so we have Blender open and we have the default objects, including a camera, light and cube in the viewport. This should be the default that you see when you open Blender for the first time. But for the benefit of this tutorial, I'm gonna delete all of the objects in frame so we can start from a blank slate. So the first thing I'm going to do is to click on the add option, or you could select shift A simultaneously to bring up the create menu. And we're going to create mesh and cube. I'm going to zoom into the cube by using the scroll wheel on my mouse. And if you hold down on that scroll wheel, you can then rotate around the object. So we now have a cube, which we'd like to apply a material to. There's a couple of ways you can do this. And the easiest way is to click on the material properties icon on the right hand side, and then click on new to add a new material. We're gonna change the color by selecting the base color. So you can see how we are affecting our current object. Now that should have changed color and it didn't because we need to go up to the top right hand corner here and change to viewport shading mode so that we can see all the changes that we make to our object. So we now have a pink shaded cube and now we're gonna go ahead and add an image texture. We can do that from within this material properties window in the right hand column, but I'm going to also show you another way of doing this and that is by adding a shader window. So to do that, we're going to hover over this horizontal bar at the base of the screen until we see the up and down arrow appear. And then I'm going to right click and create a vertical split. And that splits our screen in two. And we're now going to change the screen on the left to be our shader editor window. So we can see what's going on when I'm applying a texture to the object. So on the right hand side, we have the viewport for the object itself. And on the left hand side, we have the shader view window. So if we go back to the material properties window, a very easy way of adding an image is to click on the yellow dot next to base color and click on image texture in the drop down menu. And then when you do that, you will get an option to either create a new image from within Blender or to open an image that resides on your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and open one that's on my desktop. This one is a really cool copper like image. And by doing that, you'll see that my image has been applied to the cube. Now let's scroll over to the left here and have a look what's going on. I'm just gonna delete that image for a moment and show you how to do it in the shader window itself. So rather than going into the material properties window from within the shader window, provided you have your object selected, you click on the add menu item, click on shader, click on texture and image texture, drop it into the window. And then you need to drag the color output to the base color input of your principled BSDF. And then you need to go and open the image, navigate to where your image resides on your computer, open image, and it applies that copper texture in the same way that we applied it just before. Now that we're in the shader window, I'm going to go a little bit further and show you how to apply a bump map in order to add a little bit more texture to the image. As you can see, it looks pretty flat as it stands. There's no actual texture applied. So to do that, we're going to create a new node and we're going to start by clicking on the add menu and we're going to add a converter and then select color ramp. We'll drop that in. Then we're going to drag the color handle and drop it down to the input next to FAC. And to preview, what we're seeing, we're going to drag that color output 
all the way across to surface and you can see that we have a black and white image and we can change the contrast of that black and white by adjusting these sliders over here. Now I want to go back to my color preview. So I'm going to connect the output of my principled BSDF back to the surface and that'll bring us back to the actual image texture that we applied previously. And the final thing I want to do now is to actually apply this color ramp as a bump map. So to do that, we're going to add this time a vector bump map. And we're going to drop that below here. We're going to connect the color output of our color ramp to the height of our bump map. And then we're going to connect the normal output to the normal input of the principled BSDF. And if you look on the right hand side, you'll see that the color ramp, the contrasty black and white image is now being used as a bump map, which gives the texture a more three dimensional appearance. So it really does make it look much more realistic. If we take that off for a moment, that's the cube without any bump map. And if we drag the normal back on, you can see we have the illusion of depth applied to our texture just by adding a bump map. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel. In a follow-up video, I'm gonna show you how to use UV maps for more complex texture mapping. That'll be coming up on the channel soon. So if you wanna see that, be sure to subscribe so that you're notified of up and coming video releases. See you on the next one. Bye for now.